Hello. We will learn today a technique for uh, image compression using uh, an open source tool called Shrinkomatic. It can increase the productivity efficiently in very less time and compress the images without loss of quality as much. Uh, that too very quickly. Before uh, entering into the learning part, let us understand what is basically a, an image is made of. Uh, all the images captured by camera, mobile phone camera or created on the computer uh, is made up of a unit called pixel. Basically this pixel is a dimension of an image and generally we have heard or referred to this pixel as a resolution of an image. It actually is not a size in KB or MB that the image is carrying with. Of course, the size in KB varies with the image content and the JPEG uh, compression and generally bears little relation to the pixel dimension. So that means a uh, smaller in size image can be of very large in file size. In a, in a similar way, a large size image can be of a very small, um, small file size. Uh, we see the common display and the capture devices uh, compared here. <coughs> uh, that uh, the pixel size and the, the dots per inches uh, for the specific uh, devices we have seen in here. So as soon as the sizes are large, the DPI is uh, less and vice versa here, depending on the uh, case as may be. The pixel or dots per inches, uh, we have seen these sort of images in the football ground. Uh, the wonderful images are created by the viewers sitting in the stadium watching a fantastic match uh, or a football. At the same time, whatever the uh, person, the t-shirts and the clothes that they are wearing for creating such a visual image here is basically one single dot, which is the pixel here. Uh, it indicates the point on a grid and not the size of the point itself. So. Uh, the the monitor and the display we we are targeting here to create a document or a presentation which uh, show the image yet the size of the particular image does not make the presentation or uh, the document uh, heavier in terms of mbs so that it can be communicated well through emails or 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 maybe on the web page itself so reducing the file size uh, very much is depending on the size of images uh, placed in a particular document. So ideally, if we see the uh, printing on a printer, generally the printers uh, work with uh, 200 DPI or maybe higher, uh, but the images that they are having, uh, which needs uh, less of the DPI uh, on the screen itself. So here what we can see is 75 dots per inches is generally used where a measurement of four inches of an image is required on the print or maybe uh, on the surface that it needs to be displayed. <coughs> so one can identify and calculate very easily by visiting this website auctionrepair.com uh, which can convert the uh, pixels to inches so before entering into any of the images uh, inside the document, one, one should uh, learn about what exactly the requirement is and what is the photograph or image is actually of uh, pixels so that the, the path of creating a minimal size of the document can be very easily obtained. Uh, here is a formula inches multiplied by dots per inches uh, makes the pixel uh, all what one need is uh, required to enter these values and convert the DPI 
setting from here and we'll get the answers here and as well as vice versa so this is a very handy and unique uh, website available to convert and identify the ideal size one will need to have in the document of the image now what is the basic need is minimizing the size of bytes for a graphics file without degrading the quality so quality degradation becomes very important here uh, many a times the reduction of the file size using paintbrush distorts the image quality uh, and the same operation with the photoshops or any other such tool requires heavy heavily costing licenses so uh, which which generally is not acceptable uh, accepted by people in general however uh, if the work is professional then such use of such tools is very much essential and required at times so uh, what we are going to discuss about is a, a small tool which is available all open uh, for free and reduction of uh, file size allows the more number of images to be stored in a single uh, file or a single document or a disk or a memory space it also applies uh, to the presentations or, or uh, websites now what basically shrinkomatic works is uh, that it is an air application that is adobe integrated runtime application very much small in size and it can work uh, very easily with batches that is a bunch of images set simultaneously for resizing resizing or shrinking all these images it can handle jpg gifs pngs and such formats all what one need to do is simply drag and drop these images uh, after setting some initial set uh, uh, information about the result of the image that is required and these options uh, can allow to set all the output sizes rotations and uh, names and locations formats and of course one can include the watermarks as well uh, so this is the website from where this tool can be obtained all for free of cost as soon as we punch in this address uh, this sort of display is there and what we need to click on here is the install so while i'm creating this uh, video it was the version 203 uh, maybe the users are uh, sorry the creators of this software uh, keep on updating removing the bugs over a period of time so as soon as we click on this install a pop-up window will be opened like this uh, wherein we can uh, save the setup file by clicking save button or directly we can run uh, as soon as uh, we will click on the open button here once installed the interface is uh, it looks something like this uh, wherein uh, this is a bar horizontal uh, dragging is allowing uh, access to other options from this point beneath and uh, initial setting is required to be done in here uh, the rotation size name location and at, at the end what we get is the an, an insertion of uh, uh, watermark and all so these are few of the results this is the original uh, compressed at 30 percent uh, ratio uh, however we see you no know, much much is not the difference at all uh, as soon as both the images are inserted into a powerpoint presentation slide but as far as the file size is concerned uh, it is uh, very much different similar is the case here with you see the the image is blurred a little uh, with these two two children playing around uh, this is the original image when compressed it is uh, making no difference at all you see i am switching over to both the images and large so as soon as i am uh, getting the full screen image of uh, both of these pictures uh, hardly i can see the difference in the quality of the image isn't it fantastic as yet i uh, see uh, it, it uh, with a bare eye it is very difficult to identify what differences are there uh, between both these images the original one and the compressed one the original ones are about 5 mb of size that it was captured by a mobile camera of 16 megapixel uh, hardly it needs to be 
uh, used as such because 16 uh, megapixel camera can allow the printing of a poster or rather I would say a holding on a road which uh, which generally is not required of course uh, in the day-to-day -day, uh, routine image insertion in the documents and presentations similar one is uh, one more picture <coughs> uh, which is a uh, of a very unique banyan tree of about 200 years of age uh, with a little baby this is a compressed at a 10 percentage so you see this is uh, the size difference what we get of course this image is a little bit blurred but uh, as soon as we see it on the screen and on the on the printed media uh, it will be difficult to actually visualize what the difference is so let us have a demonstration about this particular tool how does it work i am opening the tool shrink matic from here now here initial setting is done as i have set some ratio to some let us say 30 percentage and uh, rotation is auto rotate uh, i don't want to rotate any of the images uh, name and location let it be uh, auto rename and I, I don't want to specify any of the folders so whatever my row uh, input folder is will be the output folder for all the images uh, once they are processed format is required just as what it is uh, along with the quality of jpg if i am choosing one i am getting different options here and I don't want to add any of the bookmark uh, right now. So I'm not clicking this and neither the position uh, is required at all. So what else is required? I just would like to convert all these images. Let us see these images are of, uh, you see 1.96 MB, 1.64 MB, 1.73 MB and 1.75 MB. Now let me select all these images, just drag them drop in here it is processing one two three four and what i have been receiving here is all these file sizes uh, besides the original files what are the processed file size they are of 138 kb 139 kb 164 kb and 171 kb let us see the difference between these two okay so this is the original one this is the next one processed original processed original processed original and processed so uh, it makes uh, not much of the difference and still one can uh, use all the uh, important features of the image and at the end in hand is the reduced document size readily available for sharing further so thank you very much listening to this video